Hello everybody and welcome to a tips and tricks video of building a city. I did one a little while ago but this is an updated version. So in this video I'm going to be splitting it into about three sections. The first section will be general tips and tricks. The second will be about building modern buildings in particular. And the third more of a traditional building style. So the first one we're going to cover is the general tips and tricks. So my first tip is to make sure you plan out lots of different kinds of areas within your city. As you can see here I've incorporated things such as a beach, a city centre and then more of a downtown kind of area. There's loads of kinds of uh, different areas and districts that you can have within your city. So you can have things like uh, that are situated in the desert, you can have more spread out run down places or you can have uh, like me, I've focused a lot on uh, a lot of downtown areas. My second general tip is to be building with friends. When you build with friends, you build things a lot quicker, you can bounce ideas off each other, and you generally build a lot quicker. So it makes the whole building of a city a lot more efficient. Far less likely to get bored and run out of ideas as well when you are building with friends. And it brings more of a lively atmosphere to your city. You're going to be building multiple houses, multiple shops, you're not just going to have kind of like one of each. It makes your city look a lot more uniformed and it means that you're not going to run out of ideas as quick. The final point for the general tips is to kind of incorporate the world. As you can see I've done mine on a default world and I've incorporated things like hills, and mountains and even beaches into my world and it just makes a more realistic and natural look to the city rather than it just being on a plain super flat world with endless edges. That brings us on to the modern building tips. Now the first tip is more of a what not to do. And here you can see uh, something I see a lot in worlds and that's people just building very flat, very boring looking buildings. As you can see it doesn't look very effective realistic or very aesthetically pleasing. What you want to make sure to do is have lots of different levels, lots of different layers within your build just to give it a lot of depth. This gives it a lot more detail and it makes it look a lot more realistic I believe. I'd recommend when building with glass blocks to always set it back at least one from the exterior wall that gives it that uh, required amount of depth to make it look quite effective. However if using glass panes it already gives that kind of depth effect but it can still be used when put one block back and it looks just as effective. It's just something you don't need to look out for as much with glass panes. Okay my second tip for modern building is to make sure you're using the right blocks. As you can see with this bad example, I've used blocks which have a lot of detail on them. Well, not a lot of detail, but um, it's not kind of a smooth transition between the blocks. As you can see, this has dark edges around it, so when put together, it gives this kind of crisscross checked effect, and uh, it really doesn't look that great. Same thing happens to quartz as well, and I've done this a lot, um, but I do see a lot of other people using quartz like this multiple times. Uh, it's not the worst block for it, but you can definitely avoid it, as with this good example, by swapping out them blocks for things like snow instead of quartz, and instead of the checked blocks, uh, which have, you know, the boards around it outside, you can have blocks like this, which is the terracotta blocks now, and uh, they just give a smooth transition between each block, so you can't really tell where one ends and the other begins. So that's something you want to look out for when you're building multiple blocks next to each other. The third tip is kind of something I wanted to point out, which is to incorporate a lot of glass into modern buildings. Glass automatically makes it look a lot more modern, I believe, and uh, it is quite realistic, as shown by this uh, shopping mall kind of area. Uh, there's a lot of glass which in, lets in a lot of natural light, which is what uh, modern buildings do try to go for a lot of the time. So uh, having lots of different skylights and big open windows can really make your build look more modern. The fourth point, and this is a very key one when building modern, is to have lots of solid block colours. So as you can see here, there's a big solid wall of brown, there's a big solid wall of purple, and it's incorporated a lot of shapes as well. As you can see there's this big block uh, kind of rectangle on the solid wall. 
and uh, this can be seen in a lot of modern builds and definitely gives it that modern edge. Again this can be seen here where I've got a big solid pillar with uh, some other like solid thick shapes uh, to it and again they're the ones which are kind of seamless and uh, there's no easy distinctive transition between them. Also I should probably point out that a lot of modern buildings have very abstract unusual shapes to them so you might want to try chucking in some different kind of shapes filling them in for example this just a few squares chucked on the front gives it a very modern and edgy design. <laughs> Moving on to kind of modern big buildings so skyscrapers and offices and stuff like that uh, something I wanted to point out is how simple things can be and look realistic and effective for example this is literally just uh, loads of rectangles one on top of the other rows upon rows of them and it gives this very simple yet modern looking office it's again separated with solid thick blocks um, to give that modern look to it and it, it makes it look a bit more detailed as well but yeah definitely go with uh, simple designs again like this it's not complicated at all it's just been repeated a lot to give a good sense of scale to it and it's got lots of different depth and layers into it um, and it gives off quite a nice looking building this can also be seen in this feature wall that I've done which is probably one of the favorite parts um, kind of favorite details of the city um, and it's really really simple just add in little things like that even as you can see to the left here it's just stairs piled on top of each other but um, when filling in a wall rather than it just being blank it can add in a lot of detail with something so simple now on to some tips and tricks on the more traditional style of building traditional style of buildings can look really good and effective in your city you don't want to just go plain modern all the time um, that's, well, that's not what I wanted to do in my case anyway and uh, I'm glad I didn't because this style of building is very realistic you see it in most cities and uh, it's quite detailed to do as well so it adds a bit of life and uh, makes your city very interesting as you can see with this building it's very simple and this is the very basic traditional design which uh, I usually tell people uh, about and uh, give it as a good little reference to copy of as you can see some key points with this is having borders on like the outside so there's something covering all the edges uh, and that in this case is the sandstone blocks and also pillars again which are the sandstone blocks acting as the pillars and these pillars divide up the windows so as you can see there's three lanes of windows um, and like three stories as well um, and yeah make sure they're separated by pillars and that gives off the traditional kind of look there are exceptions for lots of different designs you don't have to just have one window per uh, like pillared off section make sure there are borders and pillars acting as these borders because it does give that traditional feel and uh, style to the build again a kind of a tip we've repeated before is to make sure your builds are not flat and this is definitely um, more key in traditional buildings. In modern buildings you can have quite a lot of areas flat but in traditional you got to leave even less space flat. So as you can see there's lots of detail, lots of depth and uh, different layers to give that depth. Roofs on traditional buildings all have a very similar kind of design. They're usually very flat and they've just got a peaked bit coming over the edge. You can see this here with the sandstone half slabs and actually the sandstone stairs here which just uh, make it come out one level above and that should be uh, with most of my traditional buildings as well just it's that uh, very distinctive traditional style and uh, it works really well because it is realistic it is what you see um, in real life uh, of these kind of building designs this is more of just a personal preference but I believe that smaller windows on traditional buildings uh, look quite effective. Um, I've done a lot of ones which are two blocks wide um, but I do prefer the ones which are just one block wide but that's just a personal preference which I believe uh, looks quite effective. When building traditional shops it's very 
common to see um, overhangs, these kind of umbrella type things which come over the front of the shop and that does give it that very distinctive shop look so it's a good way where people can tell what's a shop, what's an apartment uh, etc. So yeah definitely add in these kind of overhangs on your traditional shops and buildings on the lower floors. That brings me on to my next point quite nicely of making in most cases the floor, the bottom floor to be a different colour than the rest of the building. I don't really know why this is a thing but I um, suppose it's realistic because the businesses are usually downstairs so they have a different colour um, and the other floors are usually apartments. It does look quite effective. As you can see I've done it here with the sandstone and the brown, here with the peach and the green and also here with many different uh, blocks. Also something else I did forget to add and uh, I don't really know what category this would fall into but um, roads, when you are building roads make sure you build them wide enough. I see a lot of people building roads which um, only give like one or two blocks uh, width for things to travel down it um, but I leave at least three blocks either side of the dotted white line um, and it gives quite a nice realistic look to the roads and uh, a decent size. So thank you very much for watching people, hope you've enjoyed the different tips and tricks and I hope it's uh, been able to help you in some way or another when building your city. If you want to see more specifically targeted videos of things like traditional buildings or things like uh, say just windows or walls then make sure to let me know. Make sure to let me know what your favourite uh, tips and tricks were in the comments below. So thank you all very much for watching and we will see you in the next one.